Yes, Africa, we've been speaking to you and others. Uh, now that you've completed, I'm sure you need to go home now. Yes. What's up? When are you going home? I really don't know. Our government haven't yet uh, tell us when are they going to provide us with tickets. I've been trying to communicate, but nothing has come out clearly. So uh, I'm using this avenue as the president of South Sudan, is a student in Zimbabwe, to ask the government of South Sudan to provide our ticket as soon as possible. We, do, we don't want to exceed next week, year, when we are already done with school. We have a lot of things that we can provide to the country. The country does not have uh, water supply. And here I am with a skill where I can able to, to provide. I was working with Bulawayo City Council. And what I was, the services that I was giving, they are, they are already operational. So it is wiser for the government of South Sudan to give us this avenue so that we come home quickly and then we, we settle and then we, we, we strategize how, how we can deliver services based on the skills that we have acquired from the public. So, I'm asking the Ministry of Higher Education and in, Science, South Sudan. in South Sudan to provide our ticket as soon as possible. And also, if it's not able, we are asking our president, uh, President Salvakir Mayadi, is the one who provided us with this scholarship and he, and he still have the powers to take us back home. It is not good for someone who have graduated to remain in the same place. You, you can, well, have you can try, even have you feel... Have to talk to your ambassador? We have spoken to him, but he doesn't have powers. We have been trying to go around asking people to, to come in, but no one has responded as now. I have also formed a delegation of those who have graduated last year in Juba to pursue this issue of ticket, but they have been thrown out in some offices, which is not good. We are not begging. We are, we are citizens of South Sudan. We were brought here legally with approval from the from the parliament of South Sudan that we, whenever we print here, we will have our return ticket. And why that there is no return ticket now when we are done with the, uh, with the graduation and it's cool. You've so, been here for six years? We have been here for six years. And, and government was obliged to provide two-way tickets, coming and going. Already we, are, we have only used one ticket that is coming from South Sudan to Zimbabwe. The rest of the ticket that we have been using to go back home, it is only on our parents, if possible. So, so this is a desperate situation. It's a very desperate one. Like now, the school is going to be closed. There will be no water supply on campus. No, no, no water, no, no electricity. How can you survive? And then there will be no one. Moreover, we used to have water here, but now there is no water. We will be left in the bush alone. And it is not good for our health. For our health. We are urging the government of South Sudan to provide our ticket as soon as possible. No, it should not be exceed this coming week. We want to go home. If they are not, if they are not doing that, we are going to occupy the embassy as we have been doing because we are compelled by the situation. And even at the embassy, it's not also convenient for us. It is good that this should be a good ending. It should not be a bad ending. We have this struggle. We have been suffering here. They, they have not been, been consistent in sending money, and sometimes we. We become a victim. So the, I, I'm using this avenue to ask our government to intervene as soon as possible. We are we are very few. We are we are 14 on 14. How can the whole nation fail to, to transport 14 people? We, we we thought this was not going to take even a week. To sort I have okay. written to many offices seen two months ago, asking them to provide tickets to my students and the representative and that nothing has been done. Okay. No, so, thank you Africa. Thank you so much. You are welcome. You are my welcome.